Welcome to Beginner Cherokee One here on RSU TV. We're glad that you're here. So today um, we're lucky to have uh, back with us uh, Phyllis Sixkiller and uh, Kathy Sierra. So we're going to visit with them a little bit today and um, it's really a a blessing to have uh, both of them. They're both for first language speakers. And um, so maybe um, what we're going to do is, is at the beginning, I'm going to tell the story about me going to church with Grandpa. Um, and uh, then uh, maybe we'll bring them up and uh, we'll get done what we need to get done today. And then maybe we'll bring them up and have them um, talk about their childhoods growing up, you know, or something like that. So, uh so let's uh, go back through and uh, come Idalena. Um, we will um, go ahead and get started. Jalagi um, idiwone. So we will um, start with a review. Uh, it's been a little while since we have looked at this little story, right? Um, and of course, this is not me, but probably what I looked like. <laughs> um, all right. So I'm going to tell the story. Hiski yawade ti ejikesa, elis e tod ajeno, we toki la wiji tola, a gana da disco, e dud alcha doha ski gesa, jisa dule hisa na gesa, elis ajeno a gay deed, a we toki notla, e dudu uta dana, kilola you duly juno gisti, wawaseli ta, um, wawaseli tana. A do do di canoki de um di canoki de g uh uh di gino gis da waduli uh gio sailor no le a goody juni lousti uh waki way dole kata usti di canoki de uh di jano gis ticha duli uta dani a do do eje di canoki de we gino hetler gisa a gige you hina uh uta dana cla Na ije de kano gi da da kino gi sti awaduli kla yi jan te da e du ji o sele hawawu u dane e du du no le a gi di a wawale na a le hi a di kano gi da we da gi no gi sa oh bunnies have pink shiny noses and this is the reason my friends. Oh, bunnies have pink shiny noses and a powder puff on the wrong end. No, le no, wa walk to hush, all a de chiqual de de gis tel de gitelun, a good di nico juni lausti, a gito do you u yed, you da ha he a cano head clansky, u no head clansco, a gitantan, a nigostan. You know, so um, were you uh, uh, able to understand the, well, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, so, so I like to, um, so that was one of the stories that, that we learned about um, in the, uh, in the, uh, in the class, uh, we were working on telling personal stories with, with personal dialogue and, and, and things like that, and so, um, yeah, I used to, uh, go to church with my grandpa all the time, you know, and and because he was he was a preacher there, and and um, so uh, he always thought that was just real funny. Even even after I was grown, he would tell people <laughs> this story about when I got up and sang that song in, in the middle of church during on for Easter Sunday one time. So <laughs> so uh, they got they got more than they bargained for that day. <laughs> but um, all right, so. We, uh, the story that we finished uh, the time before, I believe, was the story about Meili and um, the doxy, right? Meili, uh, uh, doxy uduliske, uh, Meili, right? The Mary wanted a turtle. So let's go ahead and let's read it one more time because we can never read it too many times. Uh, so it's always good practice. And of course, there are some big, long words in there. Reptile and amphibian, both are big, huge words. And, and I have to stumble my way through them. But, um, but we'll stumble our way through them together, OK? So let's go ahead and we'll read this together. And uh, then we'll move on to a new story. So, Doxy, 
Uduliske Meli. I le huge gesa a ge huge ge he Meli du do e Meli skohi u de tia gesa Nikod on don on don si ni do he Woo lunk de. Okay, on on sin on on don si ni do he on don si ni do. Gosh. There's so many syllables. Ah, na, da, si, ni, si, ni, do, he. An, don, si, ni, do, he. An, don, si, ni, do, he. Wu, look, de. Dak, si, do, you, u, du, li, he, me, li. U, ji, u, te, de, ne, me, li. Dak, si, a, wa, du, li, hat, la, yi, ji, wa, ti. Halewu Yiwa Hiwati Do ye did Udane Uji Mele ni ker a chi yella doxy Mele no no hulti wook tane Cla ye yiwa jiwa turn he doxy no no hulti Erdali na er danela wook tane mele Playwa jiwa turn he doxy a dully. Merely uji u no sele. Doxy our dully a seno, claw ye jiwa tea. We can ni wa he uderne uji. Dogwalel wound jane. Hotler, we can ni wa he eji uterne merely. Um. Dicka do her inena uderne merely uji. Di da na na une na se una un uni squeeze jundale jundale nerd on don si ni don ale ooh I got it that time ale i jul gado al amai no ehi an ehi inat tio hot du wake juwi walos ale taxi. Unique, eh? Us de doxy Uhua, Uhua, say. U wood gay, U suet gay, say. Pokey, do warn, eh? June, um, June nurse. Uni weed, Uni, Uni weed, day. Mele, Uli Helija. Uli Heli J, sorry, Uli Heli J, Doxy, um, Jua Tenhe. All right, so, um, that was, um, the story of Mary. <laughs> and, uh, we struggled through, but we made it, and every time we read it, we get better at it. So, um, that's what I, I advise to you is, is to read it, read it out loud, um, and just go over it and over it, sound it out, um, listen to the video, rewind or whatever you do, and um, you know, and eventually it will get better. You know, um, whenever I tell this story again in the future, um, I'll be able to read it better because that's just how that's just how we we do. Okay. All right. So we're going to talk about this story. Um, all right. So we we haven't told the jeg skin story in a while. So uh, let's work our way through this. So Jake Skin Ale Mele, New York, Une Nurse. Junal Staiti, Unal Stahyane, Yane. Unale Nurhe, Antlano He, Diha, Askayan, Nagoli Gun, Na Unchu Wortle. O see you, Udane, Jake Skin. O see you, Udane. Nagoli gun. Jalagis sti wuni. Uh, Osti jalaki nihina udane jake skin. Chichalagis ku hotla dis dis dega. Uta dane nagoli gun. Tlaiko ostega udane jake skin. Oh, tlaiko wa we dola. 
Unekilte, unekilta akeja nika elo dogin tlosa tlaiko, tlaiko i. Kato utane, utane mele. Oh, aki no hetla nihita jo tlik utane jake skin. Okay, so this is kind of a kind of a dad joke, I guess. Um, so let's work our way through it so that you at least know uh, what's going on. So Jake Skin, of course, that's Jackson. Ale and Mary. Mary. New York, doesn't change, that's the same. Une ne se, they went. So Jackson and Mary went to New York. Junalstaiti, Junalstaiti, that's a restaurant, okay? That's where they eat. Um, un, uh, uh, they were... They were eating in a restaurant. Um, that's, they were eating a meal, right? Uh, there's another word for eating, but that's just you're like eating one thing, one specific thing, right? But in this, they're, they're eating a meal. Um, so they're eating a meal in a restaurant. They started. Um, uh, they started uh, talking, uh, talking with somebody. Oskaya, man, Nagolikan, um, that they didn't know. So, like a stranger. Na, uh, Juwotle, that was seated close by. So, they started talking to this guy they didn't know, right? Osiju, um, and that's, you know, the cool way of saying what's up, right, in Cherokee. Um, you doing all right? Udane, Jake Skin, Jackson said. Osiwuta. Doing, I'm doing fine. Udane uh, nakolikan. The the uh, stranger. We'll, we'll say stranger here. The stranger said, "Jalagis stiwoni. Do you two? Do the two of you speak Cherokee?" And um, Jakeskin said, uh, "Jakeskin said, uh, yes. Osti uh, jalaki. The two of us are Cherokee. Nihina. What about you?" Chichalaki squ. Okay, I am Cherokee too. I'm Cherokee too. Hotla di stegani. Where are you two from? Asked the stranger. Okay. Tlaiko, that's my hometown. J. Ostega, we are from. We're from J, said Jackson. Should have been a period there. Oh, um, I've, I've been there. I've been to, um, I've been to Jay. Um, I've, I've gone there. I've gone to Jay. Wunegilta, <laughs> the ugliest, Agehya, the ugliest woman, Nikan Elo, in all the world, Dogin Dlosa, I met, Tlaikon um, in J. So I met the ugliest girl in the world in J. And um, so then Mary, Utadane, Mary asked, she says, Kato Utadane, what did he say? Mary asked. And so Jake Skin says, Oh, Agi no Hetla, he's telling me, Nihita Jotlik, that he knows you. Okay, indicating that, of course, she is the ugliest woman in the world, right? So, um, so this is uh, another uh, stupid joke, but um, it's uh, a good way to learn Cherokee is by these short little jokes like this. So this is a, a good way, <laughs> a good way to, um, to uh, learn, all right? So we're going to ask... Um, uh, Miss Phyllis, if she would like to to come up, and we're going to talk with her just a little bit. So, um. all right. Oh, see, oh, see, Miss oh. Phyllis. Oh, see you, Joe. Oh, see you <laughs> yeah. Don't trip over the, <laughs> the the all the little things. So, um, it's raining today. Mm, so, August. Yeah, August. Squeezed. Yeah, yeah it's squeezed. Yeah, of course, all summer long. That's what we've mm. had. So, um, but um, so. Uh, first, we'll ask. I'll ask about the uh, the story about me going to church, 
Did it make sense to you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To go leave. Yeah. So um, I can actually see you. Of course, I, I know you a little bit. I can actually see you doing something like that in church. <laughs> <laughs> so um, did, have you ever done anything like that? Um, yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> Ellie. <laughs> you don't think so. Huh? Um, all right. So and then here's our, our joke uh, that we have today um, about Jake Skin. Um, of course, uh, growing up, did you ever hear Jake Skin stories? Um, mm, gaily, stick on it. They, yeah. down there. they yeah. talked about it a little bit. Yeah. Um, it's, there seem to be certain communities that Jake Skin mm -hmm. stories are like really, really popular. Yeah. Or that they, they mm -hmm. all seem to, mm -hmm. that, that they seem to be more, more popular. Um, so did, um, did, this, did this joke make sense to you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Um, let's, let's just talk a little bit about this. So, um, you know, um, how you like if there are any things in here that you would say differently, you know, okay. um, uh, dialect wise or, or you know, just just the way it is. Yeah. So, Jake Skin, Ale Mele, New York, Une Nu Saint. Would you say it that way? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Une they went to New York. Uh, could you have put a girl you walked for the first time um, in there somewhere? Like, like they went to New York for the very first time. How would you say that? How would you change that to say they went to New York for the very first time? Oh, yeah, they've mm -hmm. never been there before. Uh -huh. Jake Skin, mainly New York. Do not start a restaurant. Is that the word you know for restaurant? Do not start it. Um, uh, mm -hmm. um, they were they were eating there. Would you say to uh, they already did? They ate there. They had they had already eaten. They already ate. Uh, they were in the process of eating. Ah, uh -huh. uh -huh. um, They were um, they were eating. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. They started. Mm -hmm. um, Antla no he, um, antla no he di, huh? Mm -hmm. um, how would you translate that? Antla no he di. They um, started uh, talking or speaking. They um, like uh, to, to that man. Like, yeah, they're, they're like talking to someone uh -huh. specifically, yes. right? All uh right. -huh. Uh, a stranger. How would you say stranger? Are you? If it was just me saying it, I, I would say tlachi uh, yoli. Somebody I don't know. Uh, yeah. Clark, uh -huh. <laughs> they didn't know him. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, nah, uh, ju wotle. Um, he was he was sitting. Nah, was, ju wo, u wotle. U wotle. That's right. Nah, u wotle. Yeah, that J sound it seems to be a big thing in communities. Like some communities use it, and some like hardly ever mm -hmm. use it. I've noticed. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, uh, like Miss Peggy, mm -hmm. um, you know, from um, uh, Fayan area, mm -hmm. uh, she seems to use it quite oh, a bit. Oh, really? And, mm. and, you know, mm -hmm. like I, I've noticed, you mm -hmm. know, when we talked and stuff. Um, and then Osiju, how do you ask? Do you use Osiju or do you use Tohiju? Osiju. Osiju. Uh -huh. Yeah. Osiju. That, that's what I always heard. That's what I always heard, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. growing up, um, mm -hmm. you know, Utan Jake Skin. Um, and then Osi Wuta, yeah, same. Wutane, Nikoli again. Do you two speak Cherokee? Utho, Jalaki Stewonisk. Stewoni. Stewon. Jalaki. That's like he's asking him if they're talking right now. Oh, yeah. Stewoni. Stewonisk. Stewonisk. Is do y'all speak? Do you speak it? And in general, do you speak it in general? Stewonisk. Uh. Osti chalaki. Osti chalaki. We're yeah. Cherokees. We're, uh -huh. we're Cherokees, uh -huh. but not you. Right. <laughs> that O in there is like, we are, but you are. <laughs> we're, 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 we're not too sure. Uh, How about you? Uh -huh. um, I'm Cherokee too. Chalaki. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, where, where are you two from? Uh -huh. uh, asked the strange guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nicole, uh, uh, we the two of us are from J. Taiko Osteg, Lutani Jake Oh, I've been to J. Uh -huh. Tlako, 
Tlaka wa wetola. A wetola. A wetola. A wetola. I've been there wa wetola. I went there with Lloyd. Wa wetola. Tlaka wa wetola. I met the ugliest woman in the world in Jay. Unetla, unetla, akeya. Neka elon, togan tlose, tlako. I know there are other words for ugly. Uh -huh. uh, is that the word you you use though? Unegilt. Unegilt, uh, yeah. Unegilt. Uh -huh. I know there's one um, like what is it called? Like like close decana or you know decana. Decante. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, uh -huh. decana. It doesn't look good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Um, and then uh, um, Mary asked, "What did what did he say?" Kato utane. Uh -huh. And he says, oh, uh, he's telling me uh, he knows you. Oh, he's telling me that he knows you. Know he knows you. He knows you. He knows you. He knows It's like I'm saying I told something. He knows you. He knows you. Somebody told me something. Somebody told me something. Uh -huh. uh -huh. um, he that, that he knows you. He knows you. <laughs> Good. <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. So, um, is there like a like a, a little story about something like that happened to you, like maybe when you were a little girl or something that you would like to tell um, the students in Cherokee? Hmm. I wasn't even thinking about trying to think of one that I could tell. Uh, or you could tell one on somebody else. You could, you could tell one on Dukey if you want to. Chalake, <laughs> huh? Okay, one is to And then, do I have to translate it back in English, or? It's up to you. Okay. You can if you want, but you don't have okay. to. Okay. You gone there, though. Okay. Oh, hold on. Um, halanta sa wata sot do that hala nau te te achi kesa. Lai lai hi yu taught the guy what yogi he. We didn't have no bicycle. We borrowed one. All three of us were riding it. At the same time. Uh -huh. No. Uh -huh. So in the handlebars, Clifton, in the two kitla. Nika, that Joe's a tly, don't know. Ticatayo. Uh huh. Got Ticatayo. No Kana luska hina nao ju wogi na luska wina pehio nao ju ti yogi in sosa we hiu tele ni kacha nao wasta ne ha na nao ju ti yogi in sosa nao hiu tele wu ju da tle si se na akito sabu hiu ju niu an el ni gat ni gat ju dogi hi losa ah han si aki ne la I got a scar still yet still mm -hmm. yeah still. Uh -huh. oh my god again I know all his chickens. <laughs> it hurt and was funny at the same yeah, time, <laughs> but other than that, ski we but we never, we never owned a bicycle. We mm -hmm. never had one, and somehow we borrowed one. Somebody let us borrow one. Oh yeah. Uh -huh, so you didn't just take it. Or <laughs> I don't know how it ended up, but we had one, and we didn't keep. After that, we didn't keep it no more. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Took it back. Yeah. yeah, but I guess. We just trying to get what we could out of it while we had it. Yeah. So all three of us got on it. Same time. <laughs> Same time. Nagachi toki los. We all fell off. One went here. I saw him. Ah, na ya ha. I did to walk in that Oh my gosh, that's too funny. Uh, uh, um, so, um, did you have a big family? Uh, we thought I had saagwa kito. Five brothers and one sister. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. So pretty big. Yeah. Very large. Nikod, 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 tell you. Nikod, and now everybody just lives around there. Yeah. yeah, we all grew up around there. Seven of us. Wow. That's a tomboy. Oh well, with, <laughs> with that many brothers, you know, you kind of, kind of, kind of have to and. and uh, and that was, Cherokee was her, even to this day, whenever I speak to my brothers or my sister, it seems strange if we speak in English. Because we've always spoken Cherokee. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It, don't, it don't seem right to be talking oh, yeah. in English. Talk English. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and um, 
not a lot of places where where you hear that a lot. You mm -hmm. know, yeah. Anymore. Anymore. You don't yeah. hear it anywhere, really. Um, I think probably Dicantayos was was similar to to Jay. Like when I was a kid growing up, you know, and and you know, I'm not that old, but I remember when I was a kid growing up, I heard Cherokee all the time. Everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere yeah. You, went. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know. Um, you know, we'd go to church, you go to Walmart, you go to, the, mm -hmm. uh, used to be, uh, um, these old men, um, they would sit at the courthouse. Oh, yeah. You know, there was like these benches mm -hmm. there, and they would always sit there, mm -hmm. they always talk Cherokee all day long. You know, yeah, like, they yeah. always had uh, benches outside the stores. Yeah. At the stores or at the post office. Mm -hmm. That's where Dad used to like going. Just sit out there and talk. Yeah, just mm -hmm. sit there and you sat there long enough, you'd see everybody you wanted to see, right? You know, so yeah. yeah but but nowadays, you, you know, not like that anymore. Mm -mm. You know, very no. rarely do. I, I went maybe about five years ago. Uh, I went to the the Indian clinic there at Jay. Well, before it was before the new one. It was the old clinic. Mm -hmm. I had to go there uh, for something, and um, and uh, there was two old ladies there, and they were talking in Turkey, and and that's it had been. Uh, probably ten years or more since I had heard, you know, yeah. Uh, yeah. heard heard them, heard people talking Cherokee, you know, and, and at the clinic, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't, you just don't hear it anymore. Yeah. Sad. Yeah, it is sad. But mm -hmm. hopefully, people that are watching this, maybe they'll learn, and and hopefully they'll be able to yeah, use it. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, that'd be good. They'll be able to. They'll be able to talk to each other and talk to you. Maybe they'll come find you in, in, in Marble City. <laughs> All right. Well, we don't. Um, Miss well. Phyllis, I appreciate well, you coming today. And um, so we're going to bring um, we're going to bring Miss Kathy up. And um, show Miss Kathy. Oh, see you too. Oh, stop. All right. So. Um, so, uh, how about you? Would you were you able to follow along with the story about mm -hmm. me when I was a little kid and mm -hmm. uh, and uh, my 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 awesome my awesome Easter song? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I I was wanting to ask you, uh, did your grandpa sing it when he told the other people what you sang? No, he would make me <laughs> sing it. He would, yeah, because he would always tell it when I was there, oh. and he always tell he would always tell he's like, sing that song that you sang mm -hmm. at church, you know? Yeah, <laughs> and he would make me sing it for. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, that's he, funny. Uh, yeah, he really got a kick out of that. He thought that was pretty fun. <laughs> and um, and of course, this this story here, this story about old Jake Skin. Now, did you grow up listening, um, hearing Jake Skin stories? You know, or? Uh, not really. But I learned it, or I heard it more as I got older. As you know, adult, but yeah. as a kid, I didn't really know who Jake Skin was. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. They weren't. They weren't really that popular up where I was from. Either, yeah, you know, it no. wasn't until I became an adult and kind mm -hmm. of got exposed to Cherokees from other parts yeah. of the yeah. <laughs> of the world that. that I, was I wonder in. what community he came from. You know, Jake right, Skin, yeah. where they told this. Yeah, because I didn't. I like I said, I didn't remember hearing about him till I got older. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and to me, he's always kind of this. Uh, kind of goofy guy, and he kind of gets in trouble, and, and mm -hmm. kind of not not super smart, you know. Yeah. And seems like most of the stories yeah. that, that uh -huh. they tell, you know, he's kind of does does silly or dumb things, you know, or whatever. But um, mm -hmm. and um, so um, uh, are there any things? I'm just going to read through here, and, and that way that's going to give them a, a little more exposure mm -hmm. to this to story. And um, if there's anything that you would tell differently. Um, you know, tell mm -hmm. me, you know, um, so Jake Skin, Ale Mele, New York, Une Nancy. They went to New York. Juno Stati, Uno Stai Yane, and then, and um, you would, would you change that one as well? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Anastaya Huske. Yeah, Uno Stai Yahuske. Una Lena, Antla no Heti. Askaya Nagoli Gun Na Jewel. Askaya Geolig Nigahan. Ah, or Stolig Nigahan. Yeah. Nigahan. Yeah. Oh, say to? Now, how do you normally say? Yeah. Oh, say to? Yeah. So good. To me, to me, that seems to be most common, but yeah. it seems to be the least commonly taught. Mm -hmm. Like when people. Yeah, and sometimes <laughs> it just depending on who it is, 
-hmm. I'll say tohichu. Mm -hmm. You know, it, yeah. it's it's just so funny how, like, when you're going to talk Cherokee, uh, you know you know who you're going to talk to Cherokee and you know what you're going to say, mm -hmm. you know, just because you do it all the time. But, right. but when they're not speakers, it's so different, you mm -hmm. know, but, but when you approach a speaker, you, you pretty much know what you're going to say. Yeah. You know, it's fun. It's, I don't know. I don't know. I can't even explain it really, but that's how I am. It's yeah. like, I never know if I'm going to say, oh, see you too, or tohichu. Until it comes out your <laughs> yeah. mouth, right? Yeah, and depend yeah. on who it is. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, and then, of course, answer, oh, see what da, or oh, see da. Oh, sta. Oh, sta. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or oh, see kele. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, yeah. The, I'm, sometimes I say, yes, I'm fine, but. Yeah. I but then I they'll know. tell, but then they'll go into this long story about how sick they are. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah. I say I am. I say I am. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yeah. Um, and then, um, Telagist Stiwoniski. Mm hmm. Telagist Stiwoniski, yeah. Mm hmm. Uh, Osti Telaki. Mm hmm. Osti, Osti Telaki. Mm hmm. Osti. Nihina. Uh, Udane Jake Skin. Mm -hmm. um, I'm Cherokee too, Jitalaki Squa. Jitalaki Squa. Hotla D Stig. Now, would you say D Stig or would you say D Stig? Hotla D Stig. It's probably, I'd probably shorten it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And to me, in my mind, like, it was kind of crazy whenever I was, whenever I was creating this. Um, I went, I would, you know, and I came to this word and, and it wasn't really clicking with me a whole lot until I said D steak and then it like kind of triggered a memory or mm -hmm. something and I was like oh wait I've heard that um, you know mm -hmm. um, somewhere yeah. you know and then I was like oh yeah yeah uta dane klaiko o steak uta dane jig skin or or you could even say tlako diokini lo or oh yeah yeah mm -hmm. uh, o steak yeah uh, that's good too. I mean, some people say it that way. Yeah. Uh, oh, Taiko Wawetola. Wawetola. Okay, and then how would you say, I met the ugliest girl in the world in the J? This is an important sentence. Well, we Taiko. Taiko. Yeah, that I just that's it's good the way it is. <laughs> you could say it two three ways, just change the words around. You yeah, know? yeah. yeah. <laughs> this might be an important word. This yeah. might be the word that they need to you know mm -hmm. to, to function in the world. Mm -hmm. right? uh, and then kato uta ne uta dane mele. There are kato uta ne uta dane mele. It's a kato adi he. Kato adi because I just said it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, or um, or or could you say katoki used? Katoki used tate Yeah, yeah, just something like that yeah. would be simple too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and adi is is like um, just said, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, what what did what did say? he just say? Yeah. What did yeah. he just say? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then um, uh, oh. and then oh, um, uh, he he's telling me. That um, he knows you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can know Hesla Nihita Joski. Yeah, I can know. Yes, that's the way. I, I probably would have just Joski uh, out uh, there, you know. Oh, yeah, he just, knows you. <laughs> yeah, I would just say it uh, the same. Just because you're just talking right there, you know, yeah, talking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Huh. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I could uh, in uh, even though this 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 joke was actually a, a joke from another. Um, I can I can see an old Cherokee man like an old Cherokee couple or whatever. Mm -hmm. I can see him. I can see an old Cherokee man saying that to his wife. You know, yes. if they've been married for a long time. Uh -huh. You know, kind of kind of ornery or whatever. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, I, I, I could. I could see the Cherokee people having this kind of conversation. Yes, you know. me too. An uh, old Cherokee couple. Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah. So, um, 
So is there a, a story that um, from you know from your plant past that you would uh, like to share in Cherokee? Well, it, I have I have a story that I told before, and uh, it's about my grandma and grandpa. They oh, are yeah. you know they this kind of reminds me of that story my mama told me one time. And we used to go, my mom and my grandma and my grandpa lived in Stillwell, so we'd go visit. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, that's where my mother was from, was the Bell area in Stillwell. And uh, so we'd go visit. And because uh, we lived in Holbert, when my mom married, we, uh, you know, that's where they ended up. Uh, anyway, that's where my dad was from. So they moved back there when he retired. And then I came along. Uh, or that's where they took us as children. Mm -hmm. And anyway, uh, so one day, Sawu Sanala Unanikisa, my grandma and grandpa, Eli said to them, Unanasa Juni Lashti, they was going to mm -hmm. drive to church. Yeah. He had an old, um, what are those little square cars called? They were real popular back then. and. Can't remember the name of it, but you know he he they get in and he uh, has his tonight, his glasses, mm -hmm. and uh, he pulls them out of his pocket and he puts them on. And Unanigisa, they started going to church. They went to Salem, and at that time they lived, they had moved into Stillwell, so they was going back to Salem, which is the Bell area. And so uh, they got ready that morning and got in the car and my grandpa picked up Juke Tanate's glasses and they took off, mm -hmm. and my grandma was sitting and uh, just, you know, as usual, just looking around. And my grandpa said, Els, that's what my grandma's tricky name was. Els, dote yo la oshi te go te ko sanala. I'm not seeing well this yeah. morning. Uh, even though I put my glasses on, I can't I see. Can't see yeah. And my grandma, well, uh, not, you want to go back home? No, I'll be all right. Uh, I think I can make it. So they kept driving, and, and he said, boy, I just uh, feel funny. I, it just, I just can't see good enough. And uh, so my grandma just let him gripe, and... And they got to church, and, and my grandpa said, I just don't know. He looked at my grandma, and he says, I just don't know. And my grandma looked at him, and she said, it's probably because one of your lenses is not in your glasses. <laughs> 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 and, you know, he never yeah. even noticed, but only till she's seen. Uh, yeah. And I always think that's so funny, because that's just how my grandma and grandpa was. My grandpa mm -hmm. didn't. You know, my grandma was the caretaker, but right, yeah. uh, but anyway, yeah. Went through life just uh -huh, however, and she uh -huh, took care of it, made uh -huh. sure you... <laughs> Yes, that's how it always was. And and uh, anyway, I always remember that story because mama told it to me one time because uh, my, my granny always would tell her the stories that, you know, whenever we'd visit about things her dad did or her grandpa did, our grandpa did. So yeah. that's the... Uh, just uh, that, you know, just talking about Jack Skid and, and stuff like that, that reminds me of them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's too funny. <laughs> um, so uh, would you mind um, telling the story um, to them? Um, sure. Uh, and like it? Yeah, oh, just read it? Yeah. Okay. Jack Skid and Melly, New York, and Nassau. Junastati unastayane U na lena he antla no he deha askaya Nagoli gun na a ju water O si ju dan a jack skin O si o si gu o si guda u dan he nagoli gun Jalakisti wone A o sti jalakita nihina u dan a jack skin Jijalakit Jijalaki school, Hutler, the stega, Uta dan and Nagoli gun. Tlaco, or stega, Udan a jack skin. Oh, Tlaco, wa we dola. Woo, woo ne gilda gay ya nicker elong, Dogin lawser, Tlaco. Gado dana, Uta dan a mel. Oh, Ogi, Ogi no hairsler. 
Ogin Ohesha, Nihita, Joshki, Utan, a Jackson. Oh, that's too funny. Um, so we have, um, you know, we've, we've told, you know, several uh -huh. jokes like this, you know, throughout, um, throughout our, our program. Um, uh, but I, but I think this is probably my favorite one. Cause, yeah. Because I, I can I can see, and then uh, we told another one about um, the Jake Skin and Mayor mm -hmm. um, going going to um, the big city for the first time and and uh, seeing uh, a uh, uh, elevator, you know, you know, and kau jauh hit aku yang lek we ketuk aku itu kau jauh hit. And then when she come out, we will do a gay you know. Uh, again. Uh -huh. And um, so the, the son, Uta Dane, Kato Uste, Uta Dane, Edward, Edward Udane, how do you want? I say no. Judge uh, um uh, push her in, go push her in, <laughs> you know, because uh, he thought he thought that whatever happened, it turned it turned yeah. the old lady into, into a real pretty girl, more. you know. So yeah, yeah. so uh, but um, uh, so how long have you worked? Um, he, um, he la, he la, you did you did he did did a list on did a list on the home How long have I worked there? Uh -huh. Well, um, it'll be 20 years uh, next year. Next year? Yeah, in November it'll be 19 years that I've been there. Um, I started uh, there in the chief's office mm. uh, as a uh, receptionist mm. because I was a turkey speaker. They wanted a speaker up the front. When right. people walked in, you could greet and talk turkey if needed. Right. And. Uh, then, uh, uh, as the as time went by, my son joined the youth choir, and whenever um, about a year later, uh, when the two directors that started the youth choir uh, had to quit for reasons, uh, the chief asked me if I would uh, just take over the choir until just to meet the commitments and until uh, he could find someone uh, else to direct. Well, um, he let me in on all the interviews and stuff like that to interview, and uh, he chose Mary Kay Henderson, and that's who mm -hmm. does it today. Wow. And I've helped her with it. Uh, he never did say to leave, so I just continued <laughs> to work with him and has to this day uh, wow. been there to, to help mainly teach the language. That's mm -hmm. the number one, because it's a language program right. first. And then uh, Mary Kay does the music and uh, she, you know, she has to learn the, the words too, to right. teach, to sing. So uh, we've done that for uh, almost 20 years now. So wow. the choir will be 20 years old. So uh, we had always had like, f the average is like 40 kids a year. Uh, but uh, give or take a few every year. So there, I've seen a lot of kids come through there, you know, and yeah. uh, so like I've had a son and a granddaughter go through. Wow, mm -hmm. so. So yeah. it's, been a, it's been a great job. It's more of a blessing than anything. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. and, and it's so important that, that they know. Um, I, I know when I was a kid, uh, we sang in Cherokee, you know, mm -hmm. church and stuff. And, yes. And, and I knew the songs, mm -hmm. but and didn't I just knew the sound yeah you know? <laughs> exactly that's how I did too you know I I, I knew enough uh, to to tell them what they mean and everything you know that's yeah. the the most important thing is that they know what they're singing absolutely yeah it's, um, my favorite uh. oh gosh you want I have so many there's some there, you know, we don't only just do what uh, has been done, mm. but some now we got to where we translated some songs right. and uh, and uh, we just trans I just translated some contemporary and uh, some of those are are my favorites. Oh, really? Yeah. But of course, I got old favorites, too. Right. Yeah. So I, I can't tell you which one's my favorite. <laughs> 
<laughs> Wonderful. So that's a part of your job as well, is yes. to, to you know, translate new songs. Yes. And, uh -huh. and, and that's really hard because not only do you have to know the words, but then they have to fit mm -hmm. in, in the, the tune. Into the tune, home. into the music, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I know you, you um, uh, work a lot with uh, Bo Parrish, you know, mm -hmm. uh, you mm -hmm. know uh, back, um, Dalagi mm -hmm. you know. Uh -huh. uh, Eastern Band, and he's working on a, the hymn book too, you know, the, yeah. a project that I, he'll call, he just called me the other day asking me uh, something about the hymn book, the 1838 hymn book. Yeah. Uh, he said, read that and tell me what this word means, you know, mm -hmm. although he, he knows what it means, but he wants that reassurance yeah. of what you think it is. and. And uh, he, but he's a good guy to work with. I can't yeah. wait till he finishes yeah, the project. I can't mm -hmm. Yeah, um, so it'll be I, good. It's definitely a passion mm -hmm. for him, you know. And, mm -hmm. and for those of you that um, um, Bo is, is to me such a uh, an inspiration because he's uh, Ionic. Uh, he's he's not Indian at all, mm -hmm. but um, uh, married a full to, blood. Married a full blood lady, and, and so became a part of the big Coke community. And Zalagi mm Kawoni. -hmm. Um, He's a, he's a Cherokee speaker now, mm -hmm. you know, so that goes to show, you know, even if you didn't grow up necessarily with the language, mm -hmm. it is possible. Yes, it, it is, it is possible, possible. To, to learn Cherokee. And, and mm -hmm. so, um, so don't be discouraged. Yeah, just, just keep plugging away, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and the more you can hear it, the more, uh, the, the better off, you know, the, the better you'll, you'll mm -hmm. be able to, to talk. Well, what don't miss, yes. Miss Kathy? I really thank you. appreciate you being here. Thank and I you hope for you can come back. Thank you for having me. What don't? So, um, so before we end today, uh, I do want to talk to you just a little bit about language. Um, they, the um, scientists or the people that are experts in language acquisition, they say that uh, to pick up a language, uh, to be uh, functional in a language, you you need between 720 and 800 hours of exposure. To the language, and and um, and so what that means is not just you know because you could put for example if you wanted to learn man Mandarin um, that doesn't mean to put a podcast on in Mandarin and, and in 700 hours you're going to be able to speak Mandarin. What that means is that you need 700 hours of good quality input. You need uh, input that you understand what they're talking about. You know, so we're offering to you about 50 hours. Um, here and and so you can but you can take that 50 hours and listen to it at home listen to it before you go to bed you know any opportunity you get just get exposed to that language and before you know it it'll make sense to you and, and once it makes sense to you then you'll be able to use it so um, I just want to encourage you to keep to keep working on it we've we've exposed you to a lot of language and and we're not even done yet we're just 30 30 episodes into a 48 episode uh, class. So um, even though we've exposed you to a lot, just keep going and, and keep listening and, and um, you, you can be successful. So I just want to say wadong and shadaksas desde and idiskwat. Um, uh,